Hey everyone, this is Bethany, Be A Crafty Girl, and I just wanted to share some stamps that I have acquired, and um, I think I'll just jump right into it. A lot of them are stamping up, but um, there's a couple other things too. This set I got from my mother's friend who moved out of town, and she found it when uh, she was cleaning out, so uh, it's called Button Bear. It is from 1985, and uh, it comes with that main image of the bear, which is really cute and, uh, you know, a nice size for a card. And then it comes with a whole bunch of cute stuff. I love you very much in a basket. And then it has Christmas stuff too, and honey. It has a Merry Christmas, a Happy Birthday, and a Thanks. And it's just really cute. And I think there's some extra little stamps that don't go with this set in here, but uh, they're super cute too. So it's kind of like an all seasons set and you can have the bear holding the honey or holding the sign or holding the basket or holding the candy cane. There's a hat to put on him. It's just really cute. So I got, I got that and I didn't have to spend any money. So that was cool. And then I, um, I did, I did get some things off of Yard Seller, and Yard Seller is really cool. You can use it uh, online, or you can uh, there's an app you can get for smartphones or tablets, and it's really neat because people do, it's just like a garage sale, and you can order stuff, and, and uh, I just think that it's a really neat concept. The buyer pays the little Yard Seller fee, and, and so, you know, you can... I don't know the whole thing about how to sell, but I don't think you have to pay anything to sell anything. Um, you just pay for it when you buy, and sometimes you get free shipping, which is cool too. So um, they also have these things called photons, which is kind of like free money. Uh, so like on this stamp set that I got, it is a Hampton Art footlongs, and... Um, it's really cute. It's called Cupcakes, and the seller had this on there for $2, and I had $2 worth of photons, so I ended up only paying the fee, which was $1, and then shipping, which was $2. So I got this for $3, which is way cool, and I think it's adorable. So there's that. And then off Yard Seller, I also got this. And I had uh, some photons again. I had about $4 worth of photons, which is pretty cool. And the seller was selling this whole lot, and I got it uh, with my photons for $14, which is super cool. They're all Precious Moments stamps. They're all used, but they're all uh, still very usable. So I got this little Christmas one, and then this little friendship one. And as you can see, they're a really good size. And then, this is why I ordered, I got this one, which as you can see is huge. <laughs> it is ginormous. And, um, you know, it's been used, but still, um, you know, it doesn't affect the quality of the stamp. I got this for my mom's Christmas cards. She wanted it to do her Christmas cards. She collects precious moments. And just, the, I got all three of these stamps. Uh, from the seller for uh, I think it was fourteen dollars, fourteen or fifteen dollars, and just this stamp right here, this massive mammoth stamp, <laughs> right here on eBay is going for forty five dollars, forty five to fifty dollars. So I'd say that's a score, <laughs> and it's really cute. So that's what my mom is going to use for her Christmas cards this year, either this one or this one so that was that was that was like a deal of the century and then I ordered some stuff off eBay which eBay is dangerous for me <laughs> I got this awesome Stampin Up set it is called dreams and dragons and it says uh, 15 fabulous years so I'm guessing it was an anniversary set from 1996 and it is retired and someone was selling this set on eBay for $70 I know crazy right I won this for 20 
So, yay me! <laughs> so I got this set for $20 and it is adorably cute. It says, may your dreams come true and your dragons be few and dare to dream. And then there's a little dragon that's super cute, a cloud, some stars, um, a prince and a princess, a frog with a crown, some grass, a star, some, sorry, the sun went behind a cloud, it got kind of dark, um, some mushrooms, a unicorn, a fairy, uh, some stars, and then a castle and believe. Can you see the castle? There we go. Adorable. I love that set. I'm so glad I got it. And it was, it's brand new. It would it had been mounted but never used. So deal on that. And then I got this close to my heart stamp set. It's called Moments in Time D1339. And there's tons of this stamp set on there if you want it yourself. Um, and it has all these calendars. So it doesn't matter. And they, it, they all start on a different day of the week. So if you're making your own calendars, you don't have to um, write in the numbers yourself. You can just see what year it is, see what month it is, and then uh, stamp what a, the corresponding uh, calendar stamp. And I make my own calendars for Christmas presents, so this will be great. And then all the calendars fit in the, the, to those two frames, and it goes up to 2015, so I still got a couple years use out of it. And even after 2015, you can just write it in yourself, no problem. And it has the months and like little cute things to put on the dates and then the months on the day you were born is what that says. Just a reminder and remember. So I am super jazzed to get that. I can uh, make my own calendars instead of, you know, stamping a blank calendar and filling in the numbers by hand or printing off a calendar off the internet. So I, that is why I got this set. It's awesome. And I think it would be good for Project Life as well. And then I'm super excited about this one. I, I didn't win the other jar. I was kind of sad. There's another Stampin' Up! jar that's really cute, too, that has, like, butterflies and stuff you can put in the jar. It's super adorable. But this one is called Little Phillips with Jar, C1001. And uh, never been used, but, you know, a little yellowed because um, it doesn't have a date on here, but I think it's an older stamp set. But it has little... A jar and then little things to put in the jar and then uh, little sentiments too so that's adorable I'm glad I got that I think I won that for $20 as well and then the last thing I got from eBay and I won it for $5 is this um, does it have a label on it yes it's the simple birthday thanks and it's a thank you card and you just fill in the links and I got this for use in my classroom so that when my birthday kids uh, it's their birthday they can stamp it out and decorate it and then take it home and then they can give a thank you to whomever they would like to for their presents and I thought it would be cool for Christmas too and then the last thing I have to show you is from the scrap the ugh, excuse me <coughs> the scrapyard and um, I ordered from Melinda over there. She had some Stampin' Up! sets, and I got a pretty good deal on these. This is the only scrapyard purchase I've made because, like, things sell so fast over there, and I feel like I'd have buyer's remorse <laughs> um, on some of the things. So, because you just have to be that fast to to purchase them. So. So I just kind of hang back, and these had been on there for a while, so I decided to pick them up. This one is called A Thing of Beauty. It is from 1996. It is retired, and it's brand new, never been mounted. And I just thought it was really cute, and it would be cool for cards, for birthday cards and for girly cards. So that's what that one looks like. I, I like it a lot, actually, which is kind of... It's, it's not, you know, anything that I have. I don't have anything like this. So, you know, different for me, but, you know, will be a nice addition and a good challenge piece, too. And then, 
Um, I also got this one from her, and this one is used. It's really cute. And uh, it doesn't have a set. I think it's called Merry Elves or something like that. And uh, it's really cute. And it has these little elves. I really got it for this stamp right here. I love it. The little elves. And then uh, the sentiment is, best wishes to you this in this season of merriment. And then there's an elf in a stocking. So, you know, super cute. I could totally see this on the outside and this and this on the inside of a card. And then the last set I got from her is, does it have a label on it? I, it doesn't have a label on it, but I believe that it is called Stitched Snowman, and this is also used. Oh no, it doesn't look like it. It looks like it's been used maybe a couple times. I might have to unmount it and trim it a little bit, but it's called Stitched Snowman. Look how adorbs. And I love the buttons. And it says, Christmas is sharing, loving, and caring, and then it has some snowflakes, and then some holly with buttons as the berries and I think I love it so again I could totally see this on the outside and maybe maybe with the snowflakes and then this the border and the and the sentiment on the inside or you know this on the outside and then just a Merry Christmas on the inside so I think that's cute so I'll be using uh, these two sets for sure to make some cards I don't necessarily make all my cards the same. I don't send out a whole lot of cards, but I don't like making the same card, you know, more than 10 times, I would say. However, with my mom's cards, we'll be mass producing those, so. So yeah, so that's uh, what I got, and um, I'm super excited to play. Um, my next video, I think, will be either some cards that I've made uh, yesterday and today, and then uh, I got some happy mail, so I will uh, share that as well. So, um, yeah. Uh, thank you for watching my video. Sorry if I enabled some of you to go to eBay <laughs> and find some of these things that are retired. Um, I know for sure that that calendar stamp, you won't have a pro a hard time finding it all so um anyway I guess I'll stop rambling and uh, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video bye